Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number 11, where we're asked to find the length of a brace, um, which is holding up, looks like a light in a, off a light standard here, and we're forming a triangular um, shape. So I'm just going to redraw this sketch here so that we just have a little bit more of a clearer look at what's going on here. So we have a top piece here, which is two meters. Um, we have it then dropping down, which is a certain distance L, which we're trying to calculate. And then we have a vertical side, which is going up along the pole here. And that's three meters. And then it's anchored at these points. And we're told that this point here is, makes a 25 degree angle with the, the post. And then what we actually have is we, we don't know what the two angles are here and we don't know what L is. So our goal here is to calculate L. So <clears throat> we've seen a question like this before where we're given, we're asked to find an unknown and we wanna look and see which is the easiest way to, to solve this, this type of a question. So the way I would uh, look at approaching this is do we have an angle and a side pair that we can quickly identify? Because if we do, um, then we have an opportunity here to use uh, the sine law in order to figure out what um, some of these, um, what some of the angles will be or what some of the lengths can ultimately be. So if I look at this here, I do have a 25 degrees, which is opposite the two meters. So right away, I can create a sine law equation or sine law ratio that says sine of 25 over two. Now, remember, I want to calculate L. So L is already an unknown, but I don't know the angle opposite to L. Okay, that's also an unknown. So that's not going to help us in writing an equivalency with the sine law. But we do know a diff we do know the length of another side, and but we don't know its angle. But that's a possibility that we can use in order to calculate that. So what we can do is we can say, okay, here's our other ratio, our three meter side is opposite an unknown angle. Okay, so I'm just gonna call that sine, um, I think they labeled this ABC in the diagram here. So this is A, B, and C. Okay, so I'm gonna call this sine C, which is something we don't know yet, but I do know it's side opposite. So if I cross multiply here, I'm gonna have sine C is equal to three times sine of 25 degrees all over two. Okay, that's going to give us um, a value for sine C. And then we have to take the inverse of that in order to, to work it out. So this is going to be 3 times sine of 25 divided by 2, which is point sine of C is 0 0.6339. And then we're to find angle C, we have to do the inverse sine of this. Okay, and that means our angle C is equal to 39 degrees. Okay, we'll just round it to the nearest degree. So that means we do know this angle now here. We know it's 39 degrees. Okay, so we're trying to calculate angle uh, length of L. So we do know <clears throat> now um, a couple of things. We could calculate the other missing angle that goes to that point there because we know we have a triangle which is 180 degrees we have 25 and we have 39 so that means angle b which is the missing one here is going to simply be equal to 116 degrees okay because that's just by a virtue of our property of triangles. So now that we have the angles figured out, we can now create a ratio here to calculate L. Okay, so I can do simply my uh, last statement here, my thing that I want to figure out is I can say a sine of 116 over L, which is the side opposite. And now I have two different ratios that I can use to pick. So we can just use the original one here, sine 25 all over two. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cross multiply and then work out my, my value for L. So I'm gonna have L is equal to two times sine of 116, and then I'm gonna bring the sine 25 to the bottom. 
Okay, so when we isolate L, and when I plug that into my calculator, I will get a value, can round it to one decimal spot of around 4.3. Okay, so that's how you want to look at this question. Um, you basically have a triangle where they give you only one angle, so you have to use the sine law here twice. Once to find a missing angle, so that then you can calculate the rest of the angles in the triangle, and then once again to find the unknown length of the side by setting up your ratios, all right? So that's how you to go through this question.